Good evening, Mrs. Cyrus. You know the rules, Harry. No contact, not for a job. What if the job ain't finished? It's finished. All we've got to do is push that cabinet over. No! no. Oh, I couldn't change his mind. We can do this if I am. You serious? Man. Yeah, I've had a good look around. There was a security light on around the back. No further action required. That shouldn't be open. It's a good bit of kit. You can shift up to ten tons with that. Really feel bigger. No, you're not going to get any bigger. No, but a counter. We've done it! The fear of the carries away! Terry! Terry! You all right? What's the matter? It's going into a coma. Can you see me? Yeah. Right, sir. Yeah, I look terrible. I feel fantastic. I can't have any ass. What? Well, I can't take beans in there. When do your dustmen come? This is stupid leaving them here. Anyone could move them. Who would want to steal rubbish? Pretty soon now. He's going to find out what we've done. I'd like to see his face when he does. She was going out, but she changed her mind. I'm sorry. What, 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 what? What's up? She says we can't do the divvy up tonight. She's going out early tomorrow to Blue Water. We can do it tomorrow. You're taking a piss, Kenny. This was all supposed to be happening Friday morning. I had it all lined up. You can't expect me to... OK, <laughs> what time tomorrow? Is that it? OK. What do you want me to do, Danny? Shoot him? It is what it is. Take the emotion out. What time? Nine. See you back here at nine. I'm gonna be watching them pins all night, mate. You try and get one hand in there. Cut it off. Got me. I'm not making it up. I can't take it all in there. What's she's in the house? It will tumble everything. You want that? I want you to do what you're being paid to do. Stop doing that, Dan, will you? You'll draw attention to it. Skim off the top, he will, Kenny. 
We should have sorted this all out yesterday. Bollocks to him. Bollocks to his toxic messes. I might go back down there later. Keep an eye on them bins. We may. Make a den. Observation point. Sort of thing we used to do in the army. You mad bastard. You gotta treat everyone as the enemy too. Stab him if you don't come out soon. Bloody thing I've seen. There were so many people around. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, mother lemon it, lads. Oh, a little bang of wheels on it. Good. Better all be there. I never touched them. Grab whatever takes your eye. Two of you want the same thing, toss a coin. And a low-value bag is here with Kenny for all the crap. Right. Everyone's took goes in there. Now we'll try and make each pile roughly the same value. Get on with it, all right, because we've only got the day. Thanks to Kenny. Right, I will sort a deal out with someone to sell on the top. Right, and we'll all use that same person. Uh, who know about this the better. Obviously, that's what Brian was gonna do. But as you might have noticed, he ain't here. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Let's get our snails in the trough. Uh. Oh, God. What's that? Nervous. 
Let's have a look. I'll fancy that myself. You're all right, going to toss for it. There's tiles. <laughs> have it. Don't bother me. So why was you stuffing it in your bag on the slide then? Yeah, well, I come, I'll come and leave it out. It's plenty for everyone. I'm watching you, Kenny. for that. Tiles. Heads. Oh, let me see it. Yeah, you better sit it out for a bit. They're worth at least a couple of hundred. Hundred eight grand a bar. Well, you better let us catch up. Swedish money. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll fancy some of that. You've grabbed all the cash so far. Tails. Tails. Right. Oh, it's uh, why only money and bullion. You saying any of the Tom? I might have a new who's going to be handling it. When it was Brian, it was easy. To what he does, he has all the connections. What are we going to do about Brian? What about him? His share. What share? What? Basil thinks Brian should have a share. No way. No fucking way. His arsehole went. Carl's arsehole went. They left it to us. So you know what? They don't get nothing. What was his job, Dan? I agree about Carl, but Brian planned every detail of this. We wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for him. Cutting him out completely would be a mistake. Over my dead body, mate. And mistakes come back to bite you far worse than you can imagine. I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't surprise me. You will. Oh, come on. I'll deal with Brian. And it'll be fair. Well, come on, let's get back to work.
Boys, the old lady will be home in about an hour, and I've got to walk the dog, so we should start clearing up. Well, what are we going to do with the rest? We still haven't even started on the bags. Well, we can't come back tomorrow. This is you, Kenny, fucking about! I said I'm sorry. Right, we've each got a decent stash. That'll keep us going for now. Now, now Kenny, you're going to have to look after these bags, and we'll have another divvy up later. When? Six months. Six months? Well, them bags in the house. Yes. Right, in the meantime, we keep a lid on our spending and we don't contact each other, all right? I made a mistake all those years ago on the Security Express and I'm gonna make it again. We agreed? Yeah. Agreed. Right, I've had another sitting on the floor all day like up. All right. So, are we not allowed to see each other again? No. But we are mates. We've all just agreed not to see each other. What about an emergency? For fuck's sake, leave it out. You have a good weekend? Not really, I had to work. And the back gate was open. You what? Yeah, I came in on Saturday and it was open. It's funny. It's supposed to be locked at all times. I was, uh... I was called out on Thursday night, but it was a false alarm. How can that gate be left open and nobody know about it? There you go. Surely that should be locked too. Yeah, that's uh it's not right. The lights are on. It's a good job my mother's not here. She's very security conscious. You think we should call the police, Gary?
Can you let us know what's going on here? Why are we being denied access to our safety deposit boxes? There's been an incident. That's all I can tell you. What kind of incident? Is it bad, I mean? It must be something bad, yes? I don't want to speculate. Is that right, Mr. Stevenson, that you were called out over the weekend? Uh, yeah, I got, I got a call from the alarm company Thursday night, uh, well, early hours of Friday. Uh, when I got here, everything looked in order, and uh, I was told the police had decided no further action was necessary. That's what you were told? Yeah. So, did, did you not know that? You said you saw a security light on at the back? Yeah, well, that, that could have been anything. That could have been a, a cat, could have been a, a moth passing in front of the sensor. So why didn't you go inside? Listen, the front door was secure. The back gate was secure. As far as I was concerned, it was a false alarm. The scene in the basement is chaotic. The vault is covered with dust and debris, and there are discarded safety deposit boxes and abandoned power tools on the floor. This is clearly a sophisticated offence which involved a high degree of planning. The gang deliberately targeted the Long Bank holiday weekend to give them time to cover their tracks before the raid was discovered. They gained access to the vault by drilling through a wall. And whilst it's difficult to speculate on the size of the hall, we should be under no illusion that it may well run into many, many millions. the newspapers. You're not supposed to be here. It's all right, and your phone's off. I come the back way. For fuck's sake. From today, we're not supposed to be seeing each other. You haven't lasted till lunchtime. It's only today I brought them all. Here. Yeah. Here, listen to this, right? Undoubtedly, the work of a ruthless gang of Romanian thieves who have carried out a number of similar raids in recent years. Yeah, I know, I read that. Uh, uh, any jury taken in a raid will already be out of the country. It will never be recovered. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is you they're describing, Tell. <laughs> Each member of the gang would have been at the peak of physical fitness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what I can't work out is, they say estimated haul, 60 million. Did that look like 60 mil to you? I don't know, it's, it's probably just uh, bollocks. The papers are made up. Oh, you get a few big diamonds amongst everything, it pushes the value up. Maybe send them free bags. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Been waiting for this. Where is it? My master. It's his son's mobile. Smart, he thinks he can't be traced. So he may can't speak now. Too busy counting on me dough. <laughs> Unavailable. Please leave a message.
Is there any news? There is still no really telling us anything. Probably no reason to expect the worst. Not all the boxes are open. It's all a matter of chance. You must remain optimistic. CCTV obtained from outside a jewellers on Greville Street. The first clip is 9.22 on Thursday night. There's two wheelie bins being taken out. Four men get out of the van. There's a driver. Sixth man who must have unlocked the gate from the inside. Less than a minute, then the van drives away. Next clip is 7.51 on Friday morning. Van returns. Where are the bins? Exactly. They don't have them with them. They came back. Now, we're at 10.08 on Saturday night. Saturday, not Friday. Come to that in a minute. This time, there's only two of them get out of the van. Again, there's the driver. Street gates open from the inside. But they're two men down from the Thursday. Van drives off. I'd love to trace that, but it's probably crushed already. 5.12am on Sunday. Van comes back. Now we see the wheelie bins. We do have footage of them from a walkway that was covered by a CCTV camera. We can only guess. The gang thought it was part of the building's internal system, but it isn't. And we think we worked out why they came back a second time. It's a replacement pump. The first one must have broke, so they've had to go and buy a new one. And you can see it's brand new, it's still in the box. Couldn't buy it on the Friday because it was Good Friday. So they must have bought it on a Saturday. It explains why they skipped tonight. And? There's something else the footage shows. They're old. They're a load of old boys. Thieves who stole up to 200 million pounds of jewellery from London. 
We've had it rammed down our throats till we're sick of it. I always planned every detail. Well, how about there's a camera in front of your eyes? It says here, an alert was sent by the alarm system, but the police never attended. That's why that security guard turned up that night. Another fuck up. You know, the camera's so close here. Look, you can read what's on your top. Oh. You can't tell it's me, can you? What are we gonna do? You gotta stop coming fucking round here, mate! I mean it! Shush now. Quiet, Dempsey. All right, kid? I told you I'd park it around the back. What? I said park it around the back so we don't have to take the bags out of the front with all the neighbours looking. Is this it? Yeah. And don't be talking to anyone about this. Keep your mouth shut. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you going to put it? I've got somewhere safe, don't worry. I just want to get out of here. I don't need the aggro bill. You've seen it all over the papers, flying squad involved. Jesus. Look, get it round the back, come on. Good news, John. Thank God. That's really good. Next, please. Name, please. Oh, uh, Cyrus, Mr. G. Cyrus. First name's Guron. Box number 169. Yes, that's correct. I'm sorry to tell you, Mr. Cyrus, but yours was one of the boxes that was broken into. Was uh, everything taken from the box? Yes, it was. I'm sorry.
just a minute. Uh, go in the kitchen, love, will you? Are you out of your mind? Do you want to go back inside? Years and years of your life. You've already lost. You can't get them back. It's my last job. They'll come after you. I just wanted to be able to put something away with you and your sisters. <laughs> Jesus. That's uh, Swedish money. Just, just, just take what you want. I don't want nothing. <sighs> On you, when you didn't even answer your phone. I've had this knot in my tummy for days. Well, we're, we're uh, very careful, you know. Turn our mobiles off and everything like that. Was he there with you? As it happens, no. I swear. But I'll... I'll put a cow on, all right? You went back in. I was greedy. I'm sorry. But we shouldn't have done it. You were right about that. What has Terry said about me? I pushed for you to get a share. He didn't commit himself, but... Danny's dead set against you. What does he know about anything, fucking knucklehead? And we didn't finish with the divvy up. There's still a lot of stuff left over that Kenny's going to look after. Going to sit in it till it all quietens down. Terry's going to struggle getting rid of the jewellery. He doesn't know what to do without you, that's clear to see. All the planning, all the work we did, completely pissed away. You're looking at this the wrong way, Brian. You're much better off without it. I wish I had listened to you. Now I'm chained to him. What are you going to do now? I'm away. I'm out of here. You keep away from them, Brian. Remember what you said on the roof. I remember him. He paid in cash. How old did you say it was? 60s. I remember he paid in cash because it's so rare nowadays. There he is. We do sometimes have a problem with the sun shining into the camera at certain times of the day. Do you have another camera in the store? Not out front, no. Sorry.
The white van has predictably proved elusive. Almost certain I crushed or re-registered, whatever. But it's gone. But we have another vehicle to focus on. An 11 plate, white Mercedes. On the Saturday, April 4th, day after Good Friday, a guy walks into this shop and buys an identical model of Jackson and one we found abandoned at the vault. Now, unfortunately, this is the best image we have of him. But after he leaves the shop, he jumps into that Mercedes and is driven off. It's registered to a false name and address in Wales, but with AMPR traffic cameras, we can track its movements. We've gone back through the logs as far as six months, and we can see that right up until the raid, that car is coming into and out of Hatton Garden along exactly the same route as the white van. Every journey seems to end in an area of Islington, east and south of Regent's Canal. So we must assume the owner lives somewhere there. The plan is to flood that area with surveillance on the ground. Find that Merc, and we find the owner. Won't be long, mate. Dad's just having his coffee. Sit down, Kenny. I was going to come and see you. I looked after you. I got you in this job when no one wanted you. Right. I would never have gone back if I'd known you wasn't going to be Everyone there. else said you were a wanker, and you are. But I stood by you. Honestly, Brian, I never knew you weren't going to be there. They never said a word till he was actually on the plot, and then they told me. I, I, I said, what? No, Brian. Stop talking, said, we, we please. can't do it without... No more. All I want, Kenny, and I want you to pass this message on, is what's rightfully mine. Concluding part of Hatton Gardens tomorrow night at nine o'clock. And before that, join Martin Clunes as he journeys the world. My Travels and Other Animals is at 8.30. And on the STB Player Crime and Punishment section, Jill Dando, the 20-year mystery, looks at the investigation into her untimely death.